Welcome back to another blasting video. Please subscribe if you like this video, more coming. Today we're going to do a blasting video testing coffee, mainly used coffee grounds. So I have used coffee grounds that are completely dry. We'll do a control and we will test regular coffee grounds to see if that makes a difference. And then we'll also test against baking soda. And I'll link to the video that I have on this below. And we're gonna test on the wheel, just like we did with the old baking soda video. And I have a cast iron base here. There's some old paint flaking. We'll see what the soda does on one side, the coffee on the other. We have an old aluminum or some type of galvanized, some kind of shovel that we found buried in the yard. And we have an old pipe here with some surface rust. So we have plenty to test, let's get to it. So if you watch my other video, link below, you'll see that we used regular household baking soda and we cleaned up wheels well enough to paint them. We knocked off all of the surface rust and the soda did very good with it. So today, as promised, we're doing the used coffee grounds and then dried out very well. So we'll do uh, coffee, used coffee on one side, we'll do regular coffee on the other, and then we'll do soda or some combination of that as a control. Same thing with this cast iron base. And then this piece here. All right, so Harbor Freight, uh, this, oh, bug, nasty. Uh, Century pneumatic, blast gun, gravity fed, same thing I used with the baking soda on the first video. Can't remember how much these are, 19 bucks maybe. That was before inflation. Before inflation, that's, that's right. Maybe probably 119 now. So this is the used coffee. My only concern is clumps. It's dry, but uh, if I get any clumps, I'm gonna have some issues. Oh, maybe three quarters of the way full. Can't make any mistakes on this one because it's all the co used coffee we have. Let's see, that's open. Maybe that's closed. That's open. There we go. Okay. All right, so use coffee. Well, oh, that's coming out. Here we go. I don't think it's as aggressive as the baking soda, but it certainly knocked a little rust off. Smoothed it out a little. Okay, let's. Before I run out of used. Oops. Okay, so the used coffee is certainly working. I mean, it's knocking some, some paint off and kind of smoothing that out, but I keep getting stuck. So I still have media in here, but I keep having to unclog it, having to, to kind of just blow, take my mouth and blow back this way to unclog the channel there. 
Let's try it again. You don't have to record this part. does work um, it's just that using the used coffee is very tough I'm about out anyway so let's switch to new coffee and see if that makes a difference at least with the clogging Smells good. It smells really good. Is it getting, um, well, I don't know, getting clogged up, but it seems to be coming out okay. All right. All right, so this, this was the uh, used coffee. Now let's slide that around. Now we're going with the new coffee. It just uh, kind of pulverizes it. But other than it being nasty, <laughs> I certainly certainly wouldn't want to work with the stuff. You know, the used coffee didn't do this. Uh, but it definitely smoothed it out. Didn't really remove a lot of the paint, maybe some of it. Let's see what it does now to this. See, this was the used coffee. Yeah, we'll do the new coffee. Really just clogged up on me. But you can see, nice and smooth. I mean, it's, it'll actually take the paint off if you hold it to it and can get a good feed. Boy, it is nasty though. <laughs> you guys can't see us. My wife and I are standing here, but we have coffee dust all over us. Well, we could probably make some coffee with that. Look at that. It's nice. Let's see. Yeah, we have plenty in here. Actually, all right, let's see what it'll do to this rust. Here on this pipe. Not too bad. So that coffee has enough abrasive in it that uh, it'll actually work. And it smells good. It's just nasty. All right, folks. Well, I think you can see I have a little bit of coffee left. Probably have, about, I don't know, a little left in here. Um, you can see what the coffee does. I don't think it's going to do any good to continue. I'm just going to make a mess. And then what we're about to do, take an air hose and blow all this off. And then we're going to uh, test uh, the baking soda against the coffee and see if and the baking soda is better than the coffee, which I suspect it will be.
All right, guys, official ruling on the coffee is just don't do it. It'll actually work a little bit, but it's not worth it. It's messy and it's not worth the effort. So you see there, it's just nasty to work with. So now let's have some fun with baking soda that we know works. Regular old household baking soda. And that is a 16 ounce, so one pound, and it almost fills the hopper. It's about right there. That's not as bad. Mm -mm. Doesn't smell as good either. Yeah, a little dusty, <clears throat> a little alkaline. But you can see there, it um, it really does a good job. And that's really smooth. A little bit more work, a little rough there, but you know this right here is ready to paint. It's that smooth. We hope they can see it. I think they can. There's stuff. There's powder all over the screen. <laughs> all over your screen? Yeah. Let me get a little closer here. <laughs> oh wow. Maybe they can't see that, but yeah, see there, it, it really does a good job. I just brought this old wheel out to, to do this video. I'm, I'm really not going to paint this one. I'm gonna finish up the video by soda blasting these parts here. This we need, we're gonna, we're actually gonna redo this lamp base because we're restoring an old lamp. So we'll let you see that. But I'll tell you what we can do see what the difference is because we know the coffee was there you can see that so let's uh yeah so you can see where the coffee was and let's just do a little piece here next to it Yeah, it did much better, a lot smoother. The coffee's still a little rigid, even though it knocked some of the surface rust off. This actually took a lot of the rust off. All right, so my wife is going to test out the baking soda on this lamp base here. That's, a, that's old paint, actually two or three layers of paint, so. Uh, all right, darling. Give it a little shake so you can see it come out there, and you know. Like here? There you go. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. No idea what you're doing. You're doing good. Thank you. 
that's nice. So it's it's not it's taking off that that first layer of white paint pretty easy. There's a second layer under there of brown before it gets to that tan. And I'm not I know it's removing the white. Let's get a little closer into that white area there. Mm -hmm. That's what it removes. the metal you want to go to the metal with it not with all of it which is why I'm trying to be careful <laughs> you just kind of want it distressed looking yes okay and I don't want to remove all the white either all right well just use your artistic ability and it's just like sandpaper so whatever you want to do with it yeah okay well I was trying to show for your video I'll do whatever you want to do okay good All right, so we refilled the hopper. The hopper had a little bit in it, but as it starts getting low, it, it doesn't feed right. So you want to keep your hopper full, um, or at least half. So you have to refill kind of often. But um, So she's going to work a little more on this. She kind of wants that distressed look. So but she's just going to use it like sandpaper. have a wind advisory 40 mile an hour gust not helping our situation out <laughs> not at all so you're kind of getting that worn metal look there trying to yeah, I like it get a little bit of that pulled through that's good Should be wearing gloves. Well, then I should be too. All right, so we have this old trial. I actually found it half buried and under some leaves. I guess that's the metal you call that. It's not aluminum. Let's see what let's see what it does. for sure. Yeah, it cleans it right up. Certainly more fun this way.
All right, so this cast iron base actually goes under here. So we don't need to do anything with this. We just want to see what the baking soda would do if you wanted to clean it up. Wow, so it works very well on cast iron. nice all that surface rust is gone all right folks we'll wrap the video up the wind's picking up anyway please subscribe i've got more videos on baking soda blasting coming up just using a regular store-bought baking soda and this 19 dollars gravity fed harbor freight gun you can see that uh Baking soda does very well, depending on your application. And if you want to and go through and use enough baking soda, it'll take it all the way to the metal. But in this case, we didn't want to do that. Until next time, folks. Thanks for watching.